Okay, so that's the requirements for network reliability. Now let's look at, actually, we can use the link aggregation to maintain the uh, reliability in networks. Now we will introduce the principles of the link aggregation. This is the idea for the link aggregation. When multiple links are used, if we use the STP spanning tree protocol, actually they will set several interface as the blocked interface to prevent the loop, right? So actually only one link can be configured as the active link. So all the traffic should be go from this link and all the other links are blocked. So actually, although we use multiple number of links, the inter-device link bandwidth are still unchanged and is still equals to the bandwidth provided by one link. So actually this problem, by using this STP, we wasted the bandwidth which can be provided by multiple links. So to solve this problem, actually people proposed this ether trunk technique. We want all these links can be aggregated together as a trunk link. And you can think of this trunk link as a logical link. And this logical link will have n times link bandwidth compared with a single link, right? So how many numbers of links, how much the bandwidth has been increased? So by using this Ethernet link aggregation, we bundle multiple physical links into a logical virtual link and to increase the link bandwidth. Also, this doesn't require to update the hardware. So this actually is the motivation of Ethernet link aggregation, or we can call it the Ether trunk. Okay, so we achieve the link reliability and at the meanwhile, we achieve higher link bandwidth. Okay, so given the motivation of the ether trunk, let's talk about some basic concepts of the ether trunk. Actually, here we call the this aggregation the link aggregation group. So this group composed of four separate links, we call the group as the link aggregation group. And we call each interface as the member interface of the LAG, okay? And we call each link as the member link, okay? And in among all these interfaces, some are set to be active interface, some are set as the inactive interfaces. So for these ones, we call it active interface. And for the, and these links are active links. And these ones are inactive interface and inactive link, okay? And also we will have two different link aggregation mode. So we can aggregate them manually by network administrator's command. So this we call it manual mode. And on the other hand, we can aggregate them using the automatic aggregation. So that is LACP mode link aggregation control protocol. We use this link aggregation control protocol to aggregate multiple links together. Okay. And for uh, other concepts, include the upper and lower threshold for the number of active interfaces. So for one link aggregation group, we can set the maximum number of links which can be aggregated together and the minimum number of links which can be aggregated together. So that is the upper and lower threshold. Okay, so these are some basic concepts for ether trunk.